Hi friends, good evening and welcome to my channel Mukambika Nursing. Friends here, in this video we can discuss questions from fundamentals of nursing. In yesterday's video also we discuss questions from fundamentals of nursing. Again, we can continue the questions. We will see the question. First question, which of the following IV fluids is an isotonic solution? Options, option A, 20% dextrose, option B, ringer lactate, option C, 10% dextrose in water, option D, 0.45% of normal saline. Question, which IV fluid is isotonic solution and the correct answer is, it is ringer lactate, option B is the correct answer. Isotonic solution means, it has same osmolality as body fluid. And examples of isotonic solutions are 0.9% sodium chloride, 5% dextrose in water and 5% dextrose in 0.22% of saline and ringer lactate. Here ringer lactate is there in our option. So that is the correct answer. And examples of hypotonic solutions are 0.45% of sodium chloride, 0.225% of sodium chloride. 0.33 percentage of sodium chloride this all hypotonic solutions then hypertonic solutions we can see 3 percentage sodium chloride 5 percentage sodium chloride 10 percentage dextrose in water 5 percentage dextrose in 0.9 percentage sodium chloride and 5 percentage dextrose in 0.45 percentage sodium chloride and last one, 5 percentage dextrose in a ring are lactate. These all are hypertonic solutions. So the type of intravenous solutions are isotonic solution, hypotonic solution, hypertonic solution and colloids. Here we saw isotonic, hypotonic and hypertonic solutions with examples. And the next question, plasmolysis will occur when the cell is placed in options option a hypotonic solution option b hypertonic solution option c isotonic solution and option d normal solution so here what is plasmolysis plasmolysis means it's a shrinkage or stringing or, or decreasing of cytoplasm in a living cell it occurs by the process of osmosis that means the movement of water from cell into the extracellular fluid by the process of osmosis it occurs in hypertonic solution option b is the correct answer move on to the next question the osmolality of 0.45 percentage of sodium chloride is options option a 154 milli osmol per liter option b 278 milli osmol per liter option c 308 milli osmol per liter option d 512 milli osmol per liter and the correct answer is option a 154 milli osmol per liter for 0.45 percentage of sodium chloride 0.45 percentage of sodium chloride is a hypotonic solution okay its osmolality is 154 milli osmol per liter here we can see osmolality of different fluids 0.9 percentage ns its osmolality is 308 milli osmol per liter and ringer lactate osmolality is 274 5 percentage dextrose in water osmolality is 278 and 0.45 percentage ns it is 154 0.33 percentage of ns 102 and 10 percentage dextrose in water 556 milli osmol per liter so this is the osmolality of some different iv fluids it's an important point move on to the next question a patient had an extensive and prolonged surgery which electrolyte should be monitored most closely? Options. Option A. Sodium. Option B. Potassium. Option C. Calcium. Option D. Chloride. Here the question is, a patient had extensive and prolonged surgery. So, some complicated surgery, it takes more time to complete. So, in that situation, which electrolyte will be monitored for the patient? That is the question. 
ड्यूरिंग द टाइम ऑफ एक्सटेंसिव सर्जरी देर इज एन इंक्रीज सेक्रेशन ऑफ एल्डोस्टेरोन विल ऑकर्स इन द पेशेंट बॉडी एल्डोस्टेरोन इज ए हॉर्मोन विच इज सेक्रेटेड बाय आर्डिनल कॉर्टेक्स ड्यू टू द सेक्रेशन ऑफ दिस हॉर्मोन कॉज अ रिटेंशन ऑफ सोडियम एंड एक्सक्रीशन ऑफ पोटेशियम इन पेशेंट बॉडी सो वी हैव टू मॉनिटर सीरम पोटेशियम लेवल फॉर द patient option b is the correct answer move on to the next question which purgative cause hypokalemia options option a dalcolex option b liquid paraffin option c castor oil option d all of this hypokalemia means decrease serum potassium level so here the correct answer will come option c castor oil this castor oil which act as a catharsis catharsis means which cause intestinal evacuation that is evacuation of intestinal content that is undigested food all waste material all evacuated through the feces that is catharsis functions of catharsis okay so this castor oil act as a catharsis so thereby it decreases intestinal absorption of water and electrolyte because all the content are excreting through the feces okay so it causes chance of hypokalemia okay option c is the correct answer here castor oil and the next question a client has been discharged to the home on parental nutrition with each visit home care nurse assesses which of the following parameters most closely in monitoring this therapy options option a pulse and weight option b temperature and weight option c pulse and blood pressure option d temperature and blood pressure here the question is a client is discharged from the hospital on parental nutrition so the nutrition is given through the client by parental nutrition at home parental nutrition means administration of nutritional formula through central or peripheral catheter okay so they are giving nutrition at home through parental route a nurse is visiting this patient at home frequently so while visiting which parameter the nurse will monitor closely that is the question and the correct answer is temperature and weight temperature should be monitored as a means of detecting infection if there is any infection the temperature will become high so the nurse should monitor the temperature also the weight weight indicate the effect of nutritional therapy okay effectiveness of nutritional therapy can dictated by weight and the temperature if there is any infection occurs that we can easily understand by the patient temperature if the temperature is normal there is no problem if the temperature is high means there is a chance of infection because the nutrition we are giving through parenterally and pulse and blood pressure is there in other option pulse and blood pressure also we have to monitor but priority firstly we will monitor the temperature and weight then we assess the pulse and blood pressure everything we have to assess the priority is temperature and weight and the next question blood drawn for complete blood count cbc is collected in options option a edta vials option b plain vials option c citrate vials option d chloride vials so cbc for cbc blood will take in edta vials option a is the correct answer edta full form is ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid that is the full form of edta for most of the blood studies blood will drawn in edta bottle that is tlc total count complete blood count and also individual count for all blood will taken in edta bottles and plain bottle will used for serological and immunological test and the next option citrate vial the citrate vial which is collecting blood for coagulation studies for example prothrombin time partial thromboplastin time all we are collecting blood in citrate vial move on to the next question sodium fluoride vials is used to measure which substance in the blood options option a glucose option b urea option c hematocrit option d hbaonc sodium fluoride vials are used to measure glucose in the blood option a is the correct answer 
Here last option HbA1c it is collected in EDTA bottle. Okay, HbA1c. And the next question, what is the position is used for giving enema? Options, option A, right lateral position, option B, left lateral position, option C, Fowler's position and option D, supine position. The position used for giving enema is left lateral position. Option B is the correct answer. Enema is one of the important area. So many questions can come from this enema section. Height of the enema can that is also one of the important question. For giving enema, the height of the enema can should be adjusted above 18 inches or 45 centimeter. And the next question, knee elbow position is used for options. Option A, lumbar laminectomy. Option B, hemorrhoidectomy. Option C, cholecystectomy. Option D, hysterectomy. Knee elbow position. Knee is folding and coming at the level of elbow. That position is using in lumbar laminectomy. Option A is the correct answer. Here we discussed previous year questions. Also important questions from fundamentals of nursing. Surely these questions will give you an idea regarding the questions which already came. So you can prepare according to that. If it is useful for your studies, please subscribe my channel and share my videos to your friend circle.